remember LeBron's mom came in and was hitting somebody with that shoe? Oh, she ran on the court. Yeah. Wasn't she messing with uh, who, who was it? Um, the dude that ended up DeAndre. Uh, no, the, um, the one who's who, homeless. Who, now. who went homeless? Yeah. Um, so they say. Hearsay. I mean, there, there's pictures and videos. Oh. Yeah, I um, hate that picture and video thing. Boy, I've been surviving without pictures and videos, man. Pictures yeah, uh, and videos. Delonte, Delonte West. Yeah. Pictures and videos would have killed back in the day. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I have all the pictures, though. I mean, imagine, so, uh, imagine Tupac with Instagram. Imagine that. Imagine a year of that. Yeah, we would have saw him get shot on live, though. Probably. That, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, you, would have, you would have seen that piece. Probably. Uh, um, you know, and you know, we were talking about reality shows, uh, yeah. and you know, Matt had said that Basketball Wives was the worst mistake that he made in his life. Uh, I just think, and I don't even blame the show for us breaking up by any means. I just, I think once you open up that book to allow people to look at your private life, you can't get mad when people comment on it. You know what I mean? And that yeah. was that was my hardest thing was these people are like you know at the time talking about my the mother of my children and some people even crazy enough to talk about my kids so it took me a while to <clears throat> understand that we allowed this we gave them access to our yeah. life so i can't cuss everyone out in the world that has something to say that i don't like about my family what was that kind of said that you told him that I'm like well don't you're going on don't go on the show well he said Shaq convinced him to do it Shaq talked him into it. I didn't know that Shaq was actually part of that production. I just thought that was his wife. I didn't know Shaq was actually somehow part of that business deal. But he is. Oh. So Shaq talked him into it. And uh, yeah, it didn't work out. Dog, it's, it's never going to work out. I, my daughter got so upset with me for not wanting her to do this other show. She was doing a show. I said, they're not Oh, doing... she, she got offered to do a reality show? Yeah, it was kids of retired athletes or some shit. I said, they're not doing this to show how well you're doing. No, absolutely not. No one believes me, though. I've, I've done guest appearances on Love & Hip Hop. Right. But I'm coming in as Vlad from Vlad TV, right. interviewing somebody on the show. It's very much in my brand. Although I don't have Final Cut, I know that I control the narrative of what's happening. I'm coming in to do an interview. I ask the type of questions I'm going to ask, and then I'm out. <laughs> exactly. I'm not getting paid for it. It's strictly a promo piece. I've gotten offered reality shows before. I've always turned them down. I'm not interested. Uh, my personal life is personal. Uh, that was not the biggest mistake. One of the mistakes is I knew we were on television. It was the first time I cried on TV. And I think the reason I did it is my mother begged me never to cry on television. Mm. And uh, I found out that, you know, as I was finding myself, um, as I do all this personal work, um, once again, Will Smith, like, he explained that. I tried to get away from it, but he was like, when you figure out what your fear is and you conquer that, then you literally have, there's nothing you can't do. Yeah. Uh, my father died yeah. uh, about a month ago. Sorry to hear that. And... Uh, I catch myself crying a lot more. Mm -hmm. Watching a TV show <laughs> and has something to do with family and the breaking apart of a family or something, and I'm just literally on my treadmill, like just crying. It's, it's called leaking. <laughs> yeah. Is what? When I went to Jungle, I got out and I said, Man, I was leaking. And the guy said, Yeah, that's what you were doing. It was like it's slowly the emotion figures how to get out of your body. And my problem was, is I was a coward. And I knew I was a coward, but outside didn't know I was a coward. So I used my bad boy image, my hit people, my, uh, my height, all that stuff, mm -hmm. till I figured it out. Then when I figured it out, figured out that's where my fear came from and what I was afraid of, I didn't need to be afraid of. I, I, my nickname is Spider. I was afraid of spiders. Any kind. <laughs> Any kind. <laughs> oh, my God. You're the like, only male I've ever met that was like this. Oh, you see, I see a spider. I throw my daughter in front of it. I'm like that with rats. <laughs> what? I'm like that with rats. Um, yeah, if I see a rat, I'm jumping on the table and screaming like a little girl. Yeah, it was. I, <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified of them. So I go in the jungle, 
and I'm a, I'm no longer afraid of spiders. I'm bigger than spiders. I'm okay. no longer afraid of spiders. I don't want to hear that shit. Here with <laughs> spiders. And I turned to the left, lad, and it was a spider the size of my hand. This whole side of my body went numb, and I was trying to get this side to pull it, <laughs> this side away. And I was like, it's going to jump on me. It's going to kill me. <laughs> and it just stood there. And I finally got like four steps away and was able to turn around and look at it, and it just crawled back. And to me, it was like the universe said, uh, okay, you sure you're not afraid of me? You <laughs> sure you're not afraid of me? Let me show you a crazy looking yes, spider. Yeah. Let, me, let me get out. It was, it was and, I, and I'm going to send you the pictures on my computer. Mm -hmm. I go, what is that? They go, that's a banana spider. I go, what do you mean by that? He said, well, those are the ones up in the tree. It was the biggest spider ever. And I said, okay. He goes, yeah, bats flying, and then the spiders get them. <laughs> this can kill a bat. It kills bats. Yeah. <laughs> what time is my flight back to Los Angeles? <laughs> <laughs>